I recently uploaded a video in which I recreated a stock starship in Kerbal Space Program, and during the uh, build-up to that video, I created a lot of prototype vehicles and did a lot of testing, and I ended up with so much footage of me basically losing my mind developing this vehicle that I thought it'd be funny to upload a little uh, sort of montage clip show of all the different prototypes I went through before I reached the final product that you saw broadcast to your screens. So that's what we're doing in this video. As you can see, we are currently flying serial number six, which much like the SpaceX serial number six served as a sort of hop test of the Raptor engines. And unfortunately, uh, touched down a little bit hard and I also noticed that the nose cone hinge wasn't very strong so I reinforced it in the space plane hangar we could begin SN7 which uh, also did not end very well. Nonetheless I was satisfied with the results of the SN6 and 7 and obviously all previous Starship prototypes that came before them so I was ready to get rid of that ugly placeholder tank and build a proper Starship fuselage and body so it kind of it's weird it, it's like it rhymes with the uh Re with the real timeline, our first full-scale Starship vehicle is SN8. We're going to perform our first high-altitude flight test. Uh, we didn't get quite as far uh, as the real SN8. I forgot to check my thrust-to-weight ratio, and uh, it didn't really... It didn't, get it didn't get off the launch pad, basically. So it, it didn't go quite so well as SN8, but it doesn't... We can just quickly change the fuel levels and get on to launching SN9, which, as you can see, uh, did get off the launch pad. So this was a much better flight already. Now it's just a case of executing every other aspect of the high-altitude flight test. And much like SpaceX's approach, I'm going to take this thing to about 10 kilometers ish perform a transition to a belly flop position, and then coast back down to the ground. Just before getting to the ground, though, we're going to perform our landing, flip, and burn. I said that in the wrong order, but you know what I mean. The flip manoeuvre and the landing manoeuvre and uh, engine relight. I said it in the wrong order again, but it's fine. You get, the, you get, the, you get what I'm trying to say. Uh, unfortunately, much like the real SN9, things didn't go too well. I lit the engines a bit too late, and we didn't actually manage to perform the flip at all. So now we're on to SN10, and I was kind of bored at this point of launching from the Kerbal Space Center. So here we are. Launch from the Woomerang launch complex for some reason. Is that what it's called in Kerbal Space Program? It's the it's the new one that they added kind of recently, like three years ago. So I guess it's not that new anymore. Uh, and again, not quite as successful as SpaceX's SN10, to be fair. Uh, didn't land at all. But hey, the crew survived and SN10's crew did not. Uh, you could argue that's because they didn't have a crew, but that's really a pretty poor excuse in my view. Anyway, on to SN11. Can we at least get a prototype more successful than SpaceX's SN11, because that's a fairly low bar. So here we go. We're going to perform our flip manoeuvre. The engines are all lit, and it's kind of working, but it's not really nosing up. It didn't really. So now we're on to SN12. And, uh, you know, the real SpaceX, uh, the real SpaceX, the real Starship didn't have an SN12. Well, I guess it did, kind of. SN12, 13, and 14 were scrapped in favour of SN15. So although my prototype here is SN12, it's the spiritual equivalent of SN15. So let's see how this flight gets on, bearing in mind that SN15 is and was the very first time a SpaceX Starship did a complete flight to 10 kilometers, uh, belly flop maneuver, engine relight and landing burn. Everything succeeded, basically. It nailed everything. Can my equivalent of the SN15 perform such a feat? As you can see, it's going very well. Or oh, maybe, maybe. Isn't that? It's like poetry. It's like they rhyme. Uh, and then SN13 was, was not quite so good. So uh, uh, hopefully SN16 in real life does better than my equivalent of SN16. I'll stop talking about equivalents now. Just focus on the numbering system at Laun X. So SN14, uh, once again, it's, it's, I guess SN12 was probably just a fluke. I was trying to repeat it to make sure that it was a consistent. Uh, my SN15 didn't do so well, so I removed the fairings quickly so I could get Jebediah out to kind of test my abort sequence for the Starship. It's very janky. Basically, the abort button uh, deploys all the fairings to expose all of the EVA hatches so Kerbals can quickly jump out and parachute to safety. So I kind of tested that with SN15. As you can see, SN16 has done well so far. It got to 10 kilometers, performed the belly flop maneuver, and we have flipped to vertical. Can we nail the landing? No, we can't. Uh, touchdown a little bit too hard, and I guess at a kind of a funny angle, and something collided inside the fairing, and then the Kraken uh, was unleashed. 
SN17 again hit the ground a bit too hard and uh, exploded. So overall, a lot of very expensive fireworks. I thought, why not share these fireworks with my Discord? So uh, yes, I decided to start streaming my attempts on my Discord server. Beautiful landing. Okay, wait, let him type. I initially communicated via quick I saves. I will eventually bow, bow. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> just, just yeah. Are you recording? I will eventually are you recording? Matt, are you recording? <laughs> no. No, Matt. No, Matt. Matt. No, you cannot say that. That is not. That is not a joke. Matt, you will get demonetized if you say that. Yeah, dude. You can't just say that to your fans. <laughs> Your sims. So yeah, it kind of made the uh, the repetitiveness of uh, rapid testing a little bit more bearable when I had some feedback coming from people in the Discord chat. SN19 was looking like a fairly promising landing attempt, actually. Uh, we managed to perform the flip to vertical. Our descent speed was looking like it was falling at an appropriate rate. And overall, I was optimistic that things were going to go well. But then, kind of a bit of a disaster at the last minute. Suddenly, I, I basically I killed off my velocity a little bit too early, about 100 meters off the surface, um, which uh, meant we started ascending. So I thought, let's just rise a little bit and try again. But every time I've done this sort of thing where I've tried to uh, fly up a little bit and reattempt the landing, it's never really gone that well. And this was no exception. Now, SN20 was a similarly good approach. And let me tell you guys, the crowd went wild oh, on man. the approach. Oh, 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 That's is, no. is he saving me? Is he saving me? Oh, no, no, it's over. Mad. Okay. Except fate. Ex ex except fate. Come on. Okay, Matt, no. Yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah, sadly, it was uh, very akin to the real SN9 there. And SN21 didn't go so well either. But SN22, I was a bit more optimistic okay. about. Don't, don't yeah. pressure him. Yeah, Matt. Don't, yeah, don't pressure Matt. Matt, you better do this. <laughs> Matt. A, a radio <laughs> Matt channel. Do it. Do it. What radio now? Loud, radio loud. Oh, oh. Matt, can I DM you can do it, Matt. Matt, it's, Matt it's, it's funny, but annoying. Matt, can I DM We're gonna Matt? make it. We're gonna make it. I'm going to DM Matt. So oh. Oh. oh! No way! Yeah! No! Yeah! yeah. Yes, to a live audience around the world of tens of people. We live streamed a successful high altitude flight test. So I was ready to uh, start kitting this thing out to carry Kerbals on board. So I added these crew modules to the nose cone. Uh, there's a little bit less than I planned to initially, if you remember back to the SN1 through 5, when I was trying to make lots of windows to mimic the actual look of the Starship. It didn't really work, so that's why there weren't that many windows on my variant. And then it came to the landing itself. Ooh, actually. Oh, actually. You know what they say? Yeah, so uh, it wasn't quite as successful as its predecessor, but nonetheless, I was satisfied and was ready to uh, send this thing up with crew on board. So here they are, the uh, the brave victims are in, I mean, the brave pilots are in their seats, and we can perform our high altitude flight test. And the landing... Do first. Oh, oh, so close. Yeah, it wasn't, wasn't that successful, but I don't think any of the crew died, so I was ready to begin the next phase of testing, which was mounting this thing to the top of a Super Heavy, which uh, I previously developed on my Munship videos. I already had one of those ready to go, uh, so I knew the Super Heavy would work, and the Starship got to orbit, and then it came to deorbiting and testing the landing. And it went well, uh, it, all things considered, at first. I, I ended up getting it, to, I didn't really plan to deorbit it anywhere specifically. I wasn't aiming for the Kerbal Space Center at this point. I was just trying to deorbit it somewhere where so it would land somewhere flat. And this region is fairly flat. However, once again, I killed off my velocities too soon. And I ended up sort of having, to, having it tilt on the spot. And it was really horrible. It was like trying to balance a broom on the palm of my hand, which I think is an analogy that Elon Musk used when describing how to land the Falcon 9, uh, funnily enough. Anyway, as you can see, I thought, okay, let's just boost up a little bit and have another go at landing. But as I said earlier, every time I've done this before, it's never really worked. And actually, spoiler alert, uh, it, it didn't work in this case either. But I wanted to save Jebediah. So I decided to test out the abort sequence, and I'll let the reaction of the crowd do the talking for me. Yeah. <laughs> what does he say? Like How much fuel do you have, dude? Matt, well, you said yes to yes, so just basically. Get up! Yo, that's the moment I start speaking. The fucking self-destruct. 
please yeah, fly on the starship. So it's not I hope the rocket it. just swoops in and grabs Jebediah. <laughs> As you can see, I'm fighting for both of them. That's it, man. Catch it. it. No. Rip. Oof. Oh. So yeah, the Starship prototype did not survive, but Jebediah did. So, uh, very good. And actually, so did the crew capsule. So really, this is like no less disastrous than a standard uh, Apollo mission where, you know, it was only the capsule that came back to Earth. Only the capsules came back to Earth for my Starship, as well as just bits of the vehicle as well. Anyway, with that, I was satisfied that the vehicle design worked, and so I was ready to rebuild it, but like pay attention to how I was placing the camera so I could time lapse it properly for the actual Kerbal video. This is generally standard practice for my more complex vessels. Uh, I basically build a rough draft first, make sure it works, and then rebuild it again, uh, but keeping the camera in the space plane hangar or vehicle assembly building as still as possible so that it's not too nauseating to watch. And I wanted to just double check to make sure it still worked, and, uh, well, I'm sure you've just seen from the last few clips just then that it I went through a couple of teething problems getting it to work again. One of the upgrades I made with this vehicle was I used the structural panels rather than wing pieces to serve as the flaps because they look a bit more accurate to the Starship. And I guess the real Starship doesn't use wing pieces, it uses bits of metal because they're not wings, right? They're flaps. And here we are on SN29, which was the first, uh, you know, successful hopped attempt with crew with this vehicle just. I ran out of fuel at the last minute, but we touched down uh, okay. And then it came to filming the video, which you've all hopefully seen by now. There are a couple of outtakes from the video itself. I'll just show you those now. This is me attempting to land the Super Heavy, which took a couple of attempts. Uh, but there we are. There, There is the successful attempt there. And then there was a... Uh, I didn't quite get the landing of the Starship right the first time. I uh, undershot the launch pad and nearly hit the R&D building but um yeah actually I've got nothing that was that was just a bad landing wasn't it and there is the final landing of the starship now there was much more there was much more to the mission than just that we deployed a space station uh we got crew on EVA and that, actually that was it so there wasn't that much more but you got to you get to see the whole flight if you've not seen that video then do please watch it using one of the links on screen uh there's also a list of my patreon scrolling past as well you can sign up to my patreon to join their ranks or you can become a member of my channel by clicking the join button down below and get a little badge next to your name i have waffled on far too long i hope you enjoyed this sort of change of pace of video did you enjoy it i could always do more videos like this if it goes down well so yeah i appreciate your feedback thank you for watching Goodbye.